Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, let's look at how to find out the equation of the circle if we have been given three points. So, in the example, we have been given coordinates of three points through which the circle is passing. The points are 3, 4, 3, 2 and 1, 4. Now, we have to find out the equation of the circle which is passing through these three points. So, to solve this problem, we have three methods. We will look at the first method in this. As part of the first method, what we will do? We will leverage the general form of the circle. That is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. So, we will say that the equation of the circle is nothing but x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. And all these three points are passing through the circle. If these three points are passing through the circle, then they should satisfy the equation of the circle. So, we will try to substitute the points one after the other and see how we will get the equations. We will get three equations because there are three points and if you observe there are three variables, we have to find out g, f and c. So, three equations, three variables, if you solve the linear equation, you will be getting the solution. So, let us go ahead and do that. First, we will substitute the point 3 comma 2. If I substitute the point 3 comma 2, I will have 3 square that is x is 3, y square is 2 square, 2g into x that is 6g plus 2f into y that is 4f plus c equal to 0. If you simplify, that is nothing but equal to 9 plus 4 is 13. So, can I say 6g plus 4f plus c equal to minus 13. So, that is the first equation. We will write that it is equation number 1. So, that is our first equation. Now, let us go back to the second point. The second point is 3 comma 4 or we can take 1 comma 4. Let us say the second point is 1 comma 4. If we substitute that, we will have 1 square plus 4 square that is x square plus y square plus 2gx. 2g into 1 is 2g plus 2fy. y is 4. So, I will have 8f plus c equal to 0. If you simplify this, you will have 2g plus 8f plus c equal to minus 17. So, that is equation number 2. That is my equation number 2. Let us substitute the third point too. The third point is 1 4 is over, 3 2 is over. So, we are left with 3 comma 4. 3 comma 4. If I substitute 3 comma 4 in the equation general form, I will have 3 square plus 4 square 2g into 3 that is 6g plus 2f into 4 that is 8f plus c equal to 0 that gives me 6g plus 8f plus c equal to minus 25. Now, this is my equation number 3. So, let me just write it down there. That is the equation number 3. Now, we have, you can solve these equations in any of the method which you are comfortable. You can go by elimination method. So, generally how we do that? There are three variables. So, we will try to convert this into two variable by eliminating c first. After that, we will have two equations in G and F. You solve them, you will get the value of G and F. But now, what I will do, I will look a little bit with the equation 1 and 3. I see 6G, 6G. I also see C, C. That means, if I subtract 1 from 3, I will directly get the value of F. So, I do not generally follow a particular type of method to solve these problems, I will look at the values. Based on the values, whichever is comfortable and the easiest, that method I will be choosing. But whatever you are comfortable, if you are comfortable with cross, multi cross product, cross multiplication or cross product, 
you can do that method you can do elimination method you can do substitution method whatever method is convenient to you for now let us do my way that is i will just do subtraction of 1 comma 3 if i do 1 comma 3 that will give me i will have let me write down here if i have 6g plus 4f plus 3 minus 13 and 6g plus 8f plus c equal to minus 25 i'll write it down here 6g plus 4f plus c equal to minus 13 and i also have 6g plus 8f plus c equal to minus 25 now you can see that there are two variables which are cancelling if I subtract. So I prefer these two e equations 1 and 3. If I subtract 6G will cancel, C will cancel. I will have minus 4F equal to 25 minus 13. That's equal to 12. So can I say based on that F equal to minus 3. So we got F value equal to minus 3 now if I got f equal to minus 3 I can substitute then I will have equations of g and c so I can easily solve them so what I will do now I will take equation 1 I will take equation 1 and I will substitute I will substitute the value of f if I substitute the value of f what I will be getting is 6g plus c equal to minus 13 minus 4f now minus 13 minus 4 into minus 3 that's nothing but plus 12 so equal to minus 1 so we know 6g plus c equal to minus 1 so we got one equation in g and c can we get another equation I will pick next the equation the second equation so that I will have 2g plus c then I can subtract and I can find out the value of right that I will be doing here so that I can save some space let me do it with another I will do it somewhere here ok now we are taking equation 2 if I take equation 2 and I substitute the value of f I will have 2g plus c equal to minus 17 minus 8f but we know what is the value of f f is minus 3 so this becomes minus 17 plus 24 that's equal to 7 so we have two equations now so I can go ahead and substitute them this is my equation the latest equation I got is 2g plus c equal to 7 now we'll subtract this I will have c cancelling out I will have 4c equal to minus 8 or g equal to minus 2 so we got g equal to minus 2 f equal to minus 3 only we have to find out the value of c so let's and find out the value of now we will get the value of c because we know g and f i can substitute in any one of the equation i will take this equation equation number 2 i will substitute the value of substituting the value of g and f what i will get is c equal to minus 17 minus 2g minus 8f but minus 17 minus 2 into g that is minus 2 minus 8 into f that is minus 3 so you have minus 17 plus 4 plus 24 that's equal to 28 minus 17 11 so when we now got the values of all the values we have got we have got the values of g and f and c i can write down the equation the equation is x square plus y square plus 2gx that is nothing but minus 4x 
plus 2fy that is minus 6y plus c. c is nothing but equal to 11. Just now we got c equal to 11. So it doesn't matter the way in which you are solving them. Just remember the method, the approach is to substitute those three points in the general form equation. Get three equations. You have three variables, three equations to solve. You will get the values of G, F and C. In the next session, we will look at the second method, how to find out the equation of the circle. If three points, coordinates have been given and we are told that those three points passes through the circle. So what we have done is very simple. We have just substituted in the general form and we have solved the three equations for three variables. We got the values of G, F and C. So the equation is x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y plus 11 equal to 0. In the next session, thanks for your time.